Alex Karp mentioned within the Palantir Q&A that the company's sales force still only equates to around 1% of the overall employee headcount. In contrast, Snowflake employs 2,247 people in sales and marketing. In fact, this is nearly half of their whole workforce of 4,559 employees for Snowflake. Only 41 employees at Palantir have been completely trained to market the product, according to Alex Karp, who stated this on the earnings call. Palantir has already promised to grow its entire sales team, but this will take time. An individual must complete about nine months of training before they are completely qualified to market Palantir software. As a result, the company's sales force remains a bottleneck. Palantir has the potential to be on par with those of other fast-growing software companies as revenues scale up. It is likely that Palantir's lack of a sales team has damaged the company's top-line revenue, perhaps also giving market share to its competitors. This is most evident now as the company has the products to scale but lacks access to the market. Fundamentally, the team are in process of recognizing this error. We can see this as the company doubles down on hiring. A sales force ramp up for a complex software solution will take time, and often individuals who are selling the product must become more than sufficient in using the software solution. This takes time and investors must be patient. In the end, it is highly unusual for an 18-year-old software company to generate such growth, whilst also having a sales team of less than 1% of the overall headcount. Considering Palantir's growth over the previous three years, it is rather impressive to see that this has been achieved without a sales force. Let's see what Palantir can do once a sales team has ramped.